what is difference between tag and uh, element in html uh, element is a uh, tag with its content included uh, tag is just the starting and the uh, end tag okay. and uh, the content with content it is called the element okay. what are attributes attributes uh, attributes provides additional information about the uh, element or the tags and they are uh, included in the start uh, starting tag okay yeah it is not a starting tag it is opening tag yeah yes opening tag yeah what is difference between div and span uh, div, uh, div is a block level element and uh, span is a uh, inline element so uh, block takes the full width of the um, means whatever the parent uh, it is in mm -hmm. and uh, inline is take the width of the content it has. Yeah. Yes. can you give me some examples of inline elements two three four five examples inline uh, for example uh, span tag uh, then uh, image tag okay and another I can't. I know what I can do. Okay, no problem. So apart from this width difference, is there any other difference? Like block has complete width of its parent, and inline has width of its content inside it. So is there any other difference? Block elements always uh, start on the new line. Yeah. yeah. Inline are uh, always. Means they can be inside or text or uh, anything. Yes. Okay, so can we give height and width on inline elements? Uh, height and width, no, we cannot. Okay, but on image tag, we can give height and width. What, sir? I... On image tag, image is an inline element, right? Yes, sir and we can give height and width on element image right oh uh, yes yes how is it possible so image uh, itself has its own attributes like width and height yeah image but type. even if we give using css it works like it is in line but our height and width works Uh, sorry sir i can't i don't okay so basically inline elements are of two types one is replaced okay. in line another is non-replaced in line so replaced in line means those elements which come through some url for example image comes through some url okay yes video tag is also in line but it comes through an url same is the case with iframe so those elements inline elements which came through or are loaded through an URL, those are called replaced inline elements. And on replace element uh, inline elements, we can give height width. Okay. Thanks, sir. I didn't know this. Yes. Okay. Now, do you know difference between canvases and, and SVG in element uh, in HTML? So I just know that they are used in uh, graphics. Yes. Okay. In difference you don't, right? Oh no. Okay. I haven't used it. Okay, no problem. Now let's move to CSS. Can you uh, tell me what is full form of CSS? Uh, cascading style sheets. Okay. Can you tell me the meaning of first word in the full form? Cascade. Full form, sir. Full form is cascading style sheet. What yes. does it mean by ca uh, cascading? Cascading uh, means in CSS, it means that uh, how the styles are applied to the uh, elements. Uh, suppose there are a parent element and a child element. So if we apply a style to the parent, it will also in, uh, apply to the child. But if unless until we specify uh, some specific style to the child element, so 
uh, it is the process in which it is uh, applied styles or the priority which is given to the okay you said if we, if we give some style on parent it will be applied to the child also yes let's say we give width on parent 500 pixel will it be applied on the child also or if we give border radius uh no sir but uh, cascading is like uh, the priority which is uh, given to the styles okay on which uh, order are the styles are applied yeah and that is that is correct that is better like cascading does not have any relation with the parent oh, it okay. is it is the order like in which order the css is being applied so there is one cascade rule in css that whichever style will come below that will be applied like below styles will override the styles above if yes uh, like they conflict each other okay and what is its specificity specificity is uh, like the uh, priority which is given to the um, selectors which uh, selector have a higher specificity they are applied uh, that styles are applied first and uh, if means there are same uh, element have two um, selectors yes and which uh, selectors are given higher priority okay yeah that's correct now can you tell me what is default value of position property position property has a default value of static okay yeah that's correct now what is the difference between position relative and position absolute relative position uh, is uh, relative to its the uh, normal uh, static static position yes. and uh, absolute is a um, position according to the ancestor uh, element of that okay. it takes yes okay yeah like your clothes it's it's good now let's move to our next question what is flex box a uh, flex box is a layout um, system that we use in css uh, for uh, defining the layout of a web page yeah that's true now there is one question i have if let's say we have one container div on which we give display flex and yes. inside the container we have two spans span in span 1 it is written hello in span 2 it is written world so if we give height and width to span will it work yes sir okay but span is an inline element it should not work why it will work uh sorry sir i okay so basically it will work so whenever we give display flex on the parent all of its yes. childs automatically become display block okay. okay so even if we use any even if you just go and give display in line that will not be taken it will be rejected like it will be overwritten and automatically it will become display block if parent has display flex okay okay so that's why any element if we put inside flex box we can give height and width okay okay uh what is box model in css uh, box model is uh, uh, which suppose uh, every element in html have some uh, uh, it includes like content then a padding border and the margin so this uh, every element has all these four things so this is called the box model box model okay 
there is one property called box sizing border box so yes sir do you know what is the default value of box sizing uh, it's content box sir okay so why do we give what happens what is difference between content box and box uh, border box uh in content box uh, when we calculate the total width uh, the padding and the margin are are included with its content also means uh, the total width it's calculated with uh, including its uh, padding and margin border so with uh, with content box uh, uh, with border box uh, in the whole width the means the whole width is cal calculated uh, including the i think yeah you are you're going in the right direction but it is not 100% correct sorry sir i got you you forgot means i in border box uh, we don't include the total uh, in the total width of the content we include the padding and margin we okay. don't uh, calculate it separately means okay basically you are saying the other way around whatever you are saying the for box border box that is for content box okay so okay. and margin and padding is not calculated here margin and border we we, we should say okay. margin and border uh, sorry sorry padding and border okay margin is outside so uh, yeah that is that is fair that is good now let's move to the javascript so yes. can you tell me different data types uh, first Uh, before going to that question can you tell me why do we need javascript for making websites so javascript makes the web pages uh, interactive okay so that is for dynamic dynamic uh, content we can okay so what are different data types in javascript uh, in javascript there are eight data types uh, seven of them are uh, non primitive and means uh, primitive and the other one is non primitive uh, like uh, number uh, then string uh, then uh, symbol big int undefined null and uh, object is a uh, non primitive yes that's true so why do we have these two categories what is difference non primitives are uh, means we cannot directly uh, have a um, re we have a reference to that uh, object we cannot directly change that values that's yeah. why yeah like partially correct okay now what like what in how many ways we can create variable in javascript three ways uh, using var uh, let and uh, const yeah so what is difference between let and var so var uh, var var using var we can redeclare the variable and it has uh, like a glo global scope if we use it outside okay and uh, use uh, let let we cannot uh, redeclare it but we can uh, reinitialize its value but we cannot redeclare it and what about the scope of let uh let is a block scope let has a block scope okay now this is correct like for let that is block scope this is correct but var is not a global scope variable var is a function scope variable oh okay sir so what is difference between uh, para parameter and argument yes sir uh, in 
parameters are uh, passed at the time of function definition when we are writing uh, function definition at that time uh, parameter are passed and arguments are the actual value that we pass when we call the function yeah that's true now what is difference between slice and splice method array method slice slice is uh, used to means uh, suppose there is string and uh, that uh, slice is used to we have to give two uh, arguments in that the start and the end uh, uh, index okay so for array slice. i'm asking are you are you telling for string uh, so it will i think it will work the same way for, uh, for array like for string it is for little different okay i think uh, splice, splice method is... splice method is not present on a string okay slice is there I want to um, take a uh, now take elements from we position start and the end in start and then hello once uh, your voice is breaking let me check 